Hello fellow citizens and welcome back and hopefully future penguin heads. If you've come across my videos, you know that I'm an advocate for installing SAR Citizen on Linux. Maybe you've pulled the trigger, maybe you haven't. If you haven't, this video is for you. That is right, you saw the title correctly. Linux is 136% faster than Windows. So let's get right down to it. First, the test system here we're going to show you is uh, my personal rig. It's a 5800X 3D, 32 gigabytes in a 4x8 configuration, 4 sticks, 8 gigabytes. That's actually very important for AM4. AM4 benefits tremendously from a 4x8 configuration, at least 32 gigabytes of RAM for Star Citizen. 4x8 puts it into a dual rank uh, scenario uh, where it acts as dual rank dims and the performance is better with four sticks at 2066 2666 megahertz versus two sticks at 4000 megahertz so no matter the timings four sticks beats two sticks every time uh, we've also got the asus uh x570 crosshair hero and the AMD 6900 XT reference. Uh, for the Linux install here, uh, we've chosen Ubuntu 22.04, which is currently on kernel 5.19, and Mesa version 22.2.5. And for Windows 10, uh, it's the latest updates, uh, as well as AMD drivers 22.5.1. The reason why we're still on 22.5.1 on the AMD drivers is because there was a bug with any later drivers where if you quantum drive to Crusader, it would slam you into the middle of the planet and it would crash to desktop uh, every time. So uh, I'm not sure and I have not verified if the latest version drivers for AMD on Windows has fixed that with version 3.18. As you know, 3.18 is a big giant turd right now. Uh, and is completely unplayable. Uh, when they get that fixed, we'll do some more performance testing. Uh, but for the meantime, uh, we are in when uh, 3.8 on Linux. There was nothing special required in order to uh, update and run on Linux. It was just a matter of starting the uh, launcher, updating it, and running it. Uh, again, just like everybody else on Windows or Linux, I tried both. Uh, I'm running into the 19K errors and uh, the 30K errors and the 60K errors, uh, but it does seem to work fairly consistently to get into Arena Commander uh, in single player, uh, which is where I've done the testing today. Uh, there will be future videos uh, again in the performance of 3.18. Uh, with Windows, uh, Windows versus Linux uh, when it becomes stable and when they've done a better job of allowing us to actually play this big giant turd. Uh, so again, uh, performance testing here today was in uh, Linux and Windows in Arena Commander single player free flight uh, on, I believe it was Broken Moon. Uh, so let's get right to it. Most of you probably already know that Star Citizen is exceptionally CPU bound and bottlenecked. You can see this for yourself where if you launch the game uh, and you see that your GPU is underutilized with basically normal settings that a normal person would use for their GPU, um, it is sitting at less than 100%. And that is because the CPU is the bottleneck and the GPU then is waiting on the CPU uh, to finish its cycles and render pipeline. I don't know exactly how it works, but I do know that the CPU is the bottleneck. Because it is so CPU bottleneck, that is where we're going to get the most benefit by utilizing the CPU better and increasing its performance. And again, I can't stress this enough. If, if you are still on Windows and you haven't made the switch to at least try Linux, when there's so many good organizations out there doing a very good job, Steam and uh, Valve, 
uh, with their Proton and uh, Lutris and uh, the Linux user group uh, for Star Citizen, uh, making it almost one click install um, ability to, to get it and have it running um, flawlessly with no crashes whatsoever. Uh, they've done such an amazing job. There's no excuse to not install a free copy of Linux. Uh, get it up and running, follow my tutorials, follow the videos, get it up and running, and trying it for yourself and seeing the difference in performance. Um, so let's go over that performance real quick. So in Windows and, and in Linux, both, again, with 3.18 being in the condition that it's in, um, I, I don't want to do any testing uh, connecting to servers um, and uh, also with just the, the general crashes that we're having. Um, so uh, I've gone into single player and Arena Commander and um, have set the settings to 1080p, all low settings. And we'll see that in a couple of videos here that I'm going to show you to verify and show you the settings. But in Windows, in Arena Commander, Broken Moon, I believe it was, it's 105 to 109 FPS. That, that was the lower limit, that was the upper limit. So pretty much 107 uh, FPS. And in Linux, a mind-blowing 144 FPS to 150 FPS. Uh, this is a, a 35 to 44% uh, increase, 144% increase over Windows and the giant resource hog that is Windows. Uh, so uh, let's get into it again and show you the videos. All right, and for these tests, I did not run OBS because I didn't want any other programs interfering with the performance of Star Citizen. So uh, I did these on my phone and all I did was just capture it. Uh, it the quality is gonna be terrible, but you're gonna be able to see and you're gonna be able to see the difference uh, between them. So uh, the first one is going to be here in Linux. And as you can see, uh, 145 FPS. And what I'm going to do is I'm gonna make the ship turn left in both cases looking uh, at the same horizon um, so that we can get a really good idea of the averages. Now I'm going to show you the options confirming that it's 1080p low settings for both for both Linux and for Windows and this is Linux here 1080p full screen everything low and vSync off. And again, I did this the ugly way because I didn't want any other programs interfering with the performance um, that we're going to see. Okay, now let's take a look at the Windows performance. Once again, same settings, same computer. And absolute dog shit performance. If this doesn't convince you to at least give Linux a try, then you are beyond hope. You're beyond helping. Uh, there for a 34%, I would give any amount of money to get a 34% increase in Star Citizen, especially in the 1% and 0.1% lows, which is where you're really going to see the difference. So do yourselves a favor, install Linux, install Star Citizen on Linux and give it a shot. There's nothing to lose. Follow my guides get this thing running the way it is supposed to be and come back stay tuned for future videos where i show you how to get free sync working which really turns this into butter smooth 
as well as pitting my 6900 XT against the 3080 Ti. Which one will perform better? There is a known CPU disadvantage when regards to NVIDIA graphics cards. There's CPU overhead. So does the 3080 Ti hurt even more in Starter Citizen versus the 6900? So stay tuned, come back for those, and hope to see you on the next video.